This program has been made possible in part by In today's crochet corner, I'd like to show you some quick cleaning tips for your delicate handmaids. I don't know about you, but I don't go anywhere without my yarn and my needles and my hooks. And sometimes, unfortunately, I some of the oils in my hands or maybe something I've been eating or my son's been eating somehow gets in a little spot of my work before I'm done working with it, uh, before I have a chance to wash it and block it. To, so to make sure that I get those stains out, uh, one thing I like to carry around with me are some uh, delicate wash wipes and I'll show you what you can do with that. Uh, you tear it open just like a regular wet wipe and I have a sample here of a beautiful vintage piece of uh, filet crochet that has a little stain in the corner and what you do is you take these one of these wet wipes and you open it up and just really delicately and with a towel underneath so you don't uh, so you don't transfer the soil, or in this case it was makeup, onto another fabric. You just blot at it and just push on it a couple more times here. And I think we're done. Wow, that's amazing. Just blot some of the water out. And you can see all that makeup came out already. And that was just from a, you know, just dabbing a couple of times. So you can really see that's very effective. One of the, one of the beauties of working with a delicate wash like that uh, whether it's in the bottle, in a liquid form, or in the wipe, is that they have essential oils in them. And the essential oils are really great for um, helping to keep wrinkles out, also to keep, your, um, keep dust mites and other uh, critters away. So it's a great way to keep them preserved after you've cleaned them as well. I've brought a couple other pieces of vintage crochet with me today. And the vintage, this is a great way to wash your vintage pieces because it's, you're not gonna wanna put them in the washing machine. You don't want them to rip or tear, especially since the older they get, the more delicate the fiber becomes. Even there's a, there, the myth has been debunked that dry cleaning is the way to go with your delicates because the uh, dry cleaning chemical fibers actually make your fiber more brittle and brittle ends up becoming more delicate also. So over time, it may be fine the first couple times, but over time, your pieces will last a lot longer if you use a delicate wash, especially with essential oil. Another reason to use the washes is if you're going to use, I mean, some of the pieces that you've made by hand, especially in lace work like this, again, you're not going to want to put that in the washing machine. There's just too many delicate pieces that could get tangled up on something else. So for that, I would suggest using the liquid wash and putting it into a bowl of water and, uh, and soaking your piece. Now, depending on the type of fiber you use, it depends on how, well, how much you're going to agitate the piece. Even in a hand wash, separate from your washing machine, if you're using wool or other natural fibers, you can actually still felt your piece if the water's warm and you agitate too much with your hands. Uh, one thing I was going to show you is I'm going to show you how to wash a little piece in the bowl of water. What we do is just add a cap full or so. And the manufacturer's instructions will all be different, so make sure you read the instructions on the side of the bottle. I like to just wash out the cap a little bit like that, get every last drop. I'll dry that off on the towel. Okay, we'll mix that up a little bit so it's dispersed in the water. And then you just put the whole piece in. You want to submerse it. And it takes a few, it takes a few seconds and up to a few minutes for the water to actually the water and the, the solution to actually soak through the fiber. This is cotton, so I feel it's I feel comfortable in squeezing it a little bit. So uh, one of the other beauties of a product like this is that it's actually a no rinse uh, wash, which means it's one less step for you to worry about. What you're going to do is you soak this. I would soak this for a few more minutes, actually, just to let the really break down uh, the soil or whatever else is sitting in your yarn. So we're going to, you can roll it up and you're going to press it along the side of the bowl. This is a way to not, if you're wringing it, you might stretch out in one way, in one section or another more, you know, unevenly. So you want to press it. And then one of the things that I do at home is pull out the towel and leave it flat like that and then roll it up in the towel. 
Now, if this was a big piece and I was actually at home, I would stand on this because my body weight will really press a lot of that out. But for a small piece like this, I feel pretty comfortable that my arm's strong enough to do this. And what you're going to do is just press. And the harder you push and the longer you push, the more water will come out. But the towel has really soaked up a lot of it at this point. And then you're going to want it. It's not going to be put perfectly blocked at this point. Depending on how loose your gauge is, some things are going to have to be fully blocked again, where you'll take out your blocking board, your pins, and even your, um, the rods, depending on the piece. And then just leave it flat until it dries, like that. A uh, few of the other, uh, the, the, this, this particular product comes in lots of different sizes and one of the things that I really like to do is if I'm making something for a gift that uh, I think should be washed with delicate, in a delicate way like this, I'll send one of, the small one of the small packages in with the gift and then it's a nice way to show the person, your gift recipient, how to use, uh, how to take care of it. And that's today's Crochet Corner with some quick cleaning tips for your delicate handmaids.